I spoke at a city council meeting. I all of a sudden just popped up and said, you know, what I would really like to see is some audio beepers installed in some of the intersections in the crosswalks here in Naples to make it safer for uh, the visually impaired to cross. And I got it. We got it. <laughs> My name is Sandra Martin. I am the Outreach Coordinator for the Visually Impaired Persons Center of Southwest Florida, plus the Outreach Coordinator for Lighthouse of Collier here in Naples. For the past two years, I have done over 200 presentations for different groups. I'm hoping that at least I've helped 100 people maybe <laughs> reach out and um, just start getting the help that they need. It's such a challenge when we lose our eyesight. I went through it 26 years ago, and it's hard. We were in Arby's one day having lunch, and she had a hard time walking out. And that's when it kind of like dawned on all of us that something was happening. I, I've been juvenile diabetic since I was eight. When I lost my eyesight, it was hard. I, I lost it at the age of 22 when my baby was only six weeks old. People came up to me and, you know, they found out my mom was blind. They acted like it was this horrible thing, but to me it was just like, you know, yeah, my mom can't see, big deal. <laughs> you know, my daughter, she's what kept me going. Nobody else was going to be her mom but me. When I was 38 years old, my husband of 18 years left both my daughter and I. It was like, what do I do? Where do I go? I had worked when I, before I lost my eyesight, but I had not worked for the past 16 years. When you're blind and you walk in somewhere to get a job, they really don't give you the time of day. A lot of employers are unaware of how to work with the visually impaired. And I was facing that a lot. And I spent five years trying to get a job. And that's when she turned to Goodwill for assistance and help. But after the first meeting, I felt like she is going to be an asset to whoever hires her, and she's going to be wonderful to work with. When the job position came open at the Visually Impaired Persons Center of Southwest Florida, I remember that they was going in there and her just saying, you can do it, Sandy. I have had several organizations that helped me fill in the pieces to get a job, um, but it was Goodwill. Goodwill, they were the ones that came through and put it all together. She's been very happy since she's been out and doing something. She didn't want to sit around and not work. You couldn't ask for a better kind of job. It was like made for. She was one of about four or five people that started these meetings and um, you almost felt being drawn to the situation because of Sandy. Sandy brought energy and life to services in Collier County like has never been experienced before. Due to her efforts, the awareness of the need in Collier County and the awareness of the services have greatly increased. Once I start having a passion about something, which I have a passion about the Lord, and I have a passion to help the visually impaired, I'm very comfortable getting in front of people and letting them know I'm happy with life and I think that does show in my personality. Besides that, wouldn't you rather see someone smile than frown? I mean, seriously.